Revelations chapter 6. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder. One of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a, had a bow, and a crown was given unto him. And he went forth, conquering, and to conquer. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse, and he sat and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard the voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked. And behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed with him, and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth, to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal and lo, there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair and the moon became as blood and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth and the great man and the rich man and the chief captains and the mighty man and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come and who shall be able to stand? The Book of the Divine Councils being thus lodged in the hand of Christ, he loses no time, but immediately enters upon the work of opening the seals and publishing the contents. But this is done in such a manner as still leaves the predictions very obscure and difficult to be understood. Hitherto, the, wor the waters of the sanctuary have been as those in Ezekiel's vision, only to the ankles or to the knees, or to the loins at least, but here they begin to be a river that cannot be passed over. The visions which John saw, the epistles to the churches, the songs of praise, and the, and the two foregoing chapters had some things dark and hard to be understood. And yet they were rather milk for babes than meat for strong men. But now we are launched into the deep and our business is not so much to fathom it as to let down our net to take a drought. We shall only hint 
at what seems most obvious. The prophecies of this book are divided into seven seals opened, seven trumpets sounding, and seven vials poured out. It is supposed that the opening of the seven seals discloses those providences that concern the church in the first three centuries. From the ascension of our Lord and Savior to the reign of Constantine, this was represented in a book rolled up and sealed in several, seven places so that when one seal was open, you might read so far of it and so on till the whole was unfolded. Yet we are not here told what was written in the book, but what John saw in figures. And it is not for us to pretend to know the times and seasons which the father has put in his own power.